Being a man comes with so many responsibilities, including learning how to handle them. Guess what? It all starts with now in your 20s. Now you'd have to start making big decisions and taking specific actions that would have an impact on your life and career in the future. So, the last thing you want to do is make the wrong decisions. The truth is that the journey to success takes time, but taking the right steps starts now. In this video, I'll share with you 7 things every man needs to start doing in their 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. T. Harv Eker, an American author, once said, If you want to be rich and successful, you'd better become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Time and over again, we've heard people say that to succeed, we need to be willing to take risks. Yes, we agree, but the actual act isn't something that we've achieved. Here's the thing, you need to understand that everyone who has succeeded in life had to make difficult choices that eventually led to some of the opportunities and benefits they're enjoying. If you are comfortable with the position that you are right now, you'd never take any step in the direction of growth. So it would help if you got comfortable with being uncomfortable. So why now? You see, growth or change is the only constant thing in life. It means that to succeed, you'd have to keep growing. It isn't a one-time event, but a process that you have to get used to for as long as you want to stay relevant. What better time to get used to this lifestyle than in your 20s when it is easy to try out new things? I mean, the implications of your actions will affect only you directly, not your loved ones and others around you. Business leader and philanthropist Melinda Gates puts hers this way when addressing a graduating class in an interview with CNBC. This is a time in your life when a whole host of opportunities will suddenly open up and if you stay in your comfort zone, you'll miss out on so many things worth experiencing. Stepping out of your comfort zone means that you do not take the easy way out, so get used to trying out the hard stuff. 2. Start building a career The good thing about being in your 20s is that you're young and agile. You can go as far as possible to ensure that you achieve your goals. A good time to start paying attention to your career, learning as much as you need to about your field, pushing yourself to do the hard work necessary to gain the much-needed experience required for success and excellence, etc., is now. You see, it takes time to build a career. You won't get everything right immediately. You'll make some mistakes that you'll learn from and eventually become better because of it. The earlier you experience these things, the better it is for you as far as your career success is concerned. So, start now. 3. Be willing to work According to Colin Powell, a former US Defense Secretary, a dream does not become a reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. If you want to succeed, then you should be willing to put in the work. It takes hard work alongside other factors to succeed. When asked, most self-made multi-millionaires will tell you that their success came from lots of hard work. Working hard is the only thing that can help you attain the mastery level in your field that will automatically put you in place to succeed. The founder of Virgin Groups, Richard Branson, started when he got his record label in his 20s. And according to him, building a business from scratch is 24 hours, 7 days a week. Divorces, it's difficult to hold your family life together. It's bloody hard work and only one word really matters and that's surviving. Contrary to what most people think, successful people have the busiest schedules anyone can imagine. Yes, they always look glamorous and well put together, but most times, it's from one place to another, trying to get work done. So it's like this, hard work got them there, and it will keep them there. If you plan to be successful, you should plan for it and be ready to put in the necessary work. 4. Manage your time properly. Carl Sandburg an American journalist and editor said, Time is the most valuable coin in your life. You and you alone determine how that coin will be spent. Be careful what you do not to let other people spend it for you. Learning to organize your schedule and arrange your daily to-do for maximum productivity might be a bit of a struggle when starting to build your career. However, learning to set deadlines for everything you work on and choosing to avoid multitasking will help your time management skill so that you can achieve more within a short time frame. Peter Toller said, If you want to have a high-quality personal life, plan a high-quality personal life. 5. Create multiple streams of income A part of effectively managing your finance is learning how to create multiple streams of income. Creating multiple sources of income is an excellent way to develop the attitude that puts you, not your employer, in charge of your income. The truth is that almost nobody got wealthy by merely working for someone. They did by learning the rules of money. Today, 
most millionaires are said to have at least seven streams of income, which they pretty much started acquiring in their 20s. 6. Learn how to invest. That you have multiple income streams isn't a guarantee that you will automatically become wealthy. If you still do not know how best to spend and manage your funds, if you want to be successful, you'd have to have a financial plan that you can start executing from as early as your 20s. Manoj Arora, an Indian author, said, Long-term thinking and planning enhances short-term decision-making. Make sure you have a plan for your life in your hand, and that includes the financial plan and your mission. Have you ever thought about investment? Investment means putting your money to work for you. It's like this. You put your money into a working business that can generate profit for you. After a speculative period, it is to allocate money in the expectation of some benefit in the future. You can also think of investment as obtaining an asset to allow it to appreciate in value over time. According to Aya Laraya, a realtor and writer, when you invest, you're buying a day that you don't have to work. Carlos Slim, a Mexican business magnate and investor, said, anyone who is not investing now is missing a tremendous opportunity. One secret of wealthy and successful people is that they know how to invest. Here's the thing, building a habit of savings and investing the money doesn't have to be a difficult one. As long as you're willing to start, make a move. You can start by saving at least 10% of your monthly income and perhaps at the end of six months or say a year, invest the money. The longer you leave the money, the more interest it accrues. That's the law of compound interest. If you want to take advantage of compound interest, then you have to start early enough and now is an excellent time to start. Sally Krachek, the former CEO of Merrill Lynch's Global Wealth Management Division and founder of Elvest Advisors, said, Since you're young, this recurring deposits will help put the power of compounding to work for you. That means you earn returns on the money you invest and also earn returns on this returns over time. So, instead of waiting till you have so much money, why not start now? 7. Forgive yourself if you didn't start early enough and start now. Finally, if you haven't started any of this, hearing this now is in no way suggesting that you should beat yourself up. Instead, forgive yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Start now and dedicate yourself to being better and growing. You'll be glad you did instead of looking back someday and wishing you had taken a different turn. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.